Witam was serdecznie. I co, na Sendora się ukończone? Jedziemy dalej. Intermezzo. Przerywnik oczywiście. You fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. Hmm. Would you like for this time? Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The mm -hmm. Nazi books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family. For the Don. Hmm. Tak jak Frank. Frank też tak zrobił. You recognize anyone? Look again. Old man that's Don Popon, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Salieri. Chłop z drugiej części. Yeah. Okay, I see it. That must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. Jesus. They're just kids. Not already soldiers in Papone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. But you don't know could fill up the fucking Chrysler building. Hmm. In 22, Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello create a debut up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello. Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. Hmm. What good was all of Morello's money if it couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me? Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day, I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Hmm. Right here. Dry your tears in the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam pointing a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it when you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life. And the guy next to you isn't just your partner, he's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? Hmm. But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adam were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Oh, kurde. Teraz będzie o zdradzie. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Kampania wyborcza. Any trouble? No bus, no trouble at all. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. Hmm. There's a little extra in mind to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. 
I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. He starts shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. Okay, boss. Hmm. Good. Now, we gotta talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust a hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations, and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you'll give Turnbull a third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and this crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'll be talking to someone else. And get it done. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Hey, handsome. <laughs> Nie mamy na ciebie czasu. You wasted on that wife of yours. Okay. Vincenzo. Co on mi da? Panu snajperkę? A. Hey Tom. Boss says you got something for me. I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Now Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat to the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these, where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now, ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in a room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. The top deck is locked. A mam amunicję? Dosyć? Weźmiemy lepiej. Rewolwa kieszonkowy. Pistolet półautomatyczny. Mhm. Politicians come at us, we come back at them hard. That's how Lost Heaven's gonna learn. No, okay, ale tą snajperkę jednak nie dostaję. Hmm. No nic, do więzienia. Nie, nie. Jep. Bellinger's department store has been serving the people of Lost Heaven for more than 65 years. We care for this city and for each and every customer that comes through our door. We want the best for them and their families. And that's why this message is a little different. 
In recent years, our city has fallen prey to criminal elements. And only one man has shown that he has the strength and the moral fortitude required to once again allow the people to walk the streets without fear, with hope in their hearts. That man is Hank Turnbull. Mr. Turnbull stepped over... Musica. Uwaga, 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 uwaga. Uuu, nic mi z nim widziałam. Wejście do więzienia musimy znaleźć. Hmm, chyba tam. No to przez kanalizację. Nara. To też jest apteczka w środku. Najpierw muszę się do środka dostać. Otworzymy. Idź. Łaźnia. Było to ciemno tutaj jak w dupie. Albo przez łaźnię. Ta.
trouble. Not so to. Hey, look, he's got a gun. Come on. Come on, big dog. Be kind. Or go. Hey, last chance. There. I'll get him. Ciao, ciao. No po co mnie atakuje? No prawda? Taki szybki z siebie, ziom. Pewno po to, żeby to zebrać. Mhm. Detective Stories. To był ziom na górze. Ok. Ok, proszę. Jest to right way for the guard tower? Just through the kitchen. Turkey. You've been... A what? Were you... Get away from here! Wezmę to sobie, żeby mieć to też całe życie. Okay, są znowu te znaki. Gartawa, tu. No to idziemy do góry. Zabij polityka. O, jest i snajperka. Ona już na mnie czekała. Tak, snajper elit. Turbo is down. A shot came from the old prison. 
<śmiech> Uff. Skryptowane. Za długo. Hmm. Pewno muszę apteczkę znaleźć. O kurczę. Musimy tutaj tędy iść. O! O! O tym moja mowa jest. Oh yeah! Dobra. Nara. Apteczkę już zużyłem. Jeszcze ktoś? Nara. Mi się wydaje, jedno musimy na dół iść. O! Oh, 
Kurcze. Okej, okay, i uciekamy. Kurcze. Ale okej, okay, mamy. Dobrze, mam szybkie auto. Kurczę! No, tyle jest... <śmiech> nagle tego... Tego tutaj... Tyle aut... Na... 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 Na drodze, że szok. Nagle się to auto bardzo kiepsko się... Yy, się z nim jeździ. Wow, jak on hamuje. Kurde. Takie dobre cel mają. Ja pierdziele. Teraz musiał oczywiście w lewo jechać, nie? Ile ich jest? Boże, jak mam uciec? I dupa. Ah. Auto mi zepsuli. Zróbmy to inaczej. Zgubili mnie. Byśmy tutaj na dół. Już, już, już. Czy tylko świeci? Proszę. Wam tylko broń. Dzień dobry. Ja wam nie przeszkadzam. Róbcie swoją robotę. I idziemy do domu. No, mogę się tam od razu schować. I przeczekać.
Hmm. Ja mam powiem coś wiadomości? Nie ma wiadomości. No i dobrze, i jedziemy. Tutaj prosto i w prawo. Ale z tak z tym pościgiem. To jestem ciekawy, czyżbym naprawdę dał radę uciec, że po prostu hmm, ciężko by było. Nieważne, ogarnięte to ogarnięte. Policja taka głupia, jak nie widzę go przez parę minut, to już o nim zapomniałam. <śmiech> Ileś jeszcze? Dobra, jesteśmy w domciu. A to ja tutaj mieszkam teraz. Mamy domek. Nawet do garażu wjechałem. O. To będzie na kolację. Jakiś żurek? Hmm. Bertie was crooked as the day is long. Says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Mm. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Hmm. Guess nobody's just one thing, are they? Guess not. I gotta go to work. Tom, don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Bradley, too late for that. Ooh la la, u pojechała. Ale okej, rozdział zakończyliśmy. Na tym również zakończę. Następnym śmigam dalej. Dotrzymajcie się i do zobaczenia.